Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 3 and uh, my Germany 1890 Super Lodge playthrough. I'm trying with the headset today. Uh, the sound quality hasn't been too good, so uh, maybe this helps a bit. I think I really should get a better microphone if I'm actually going to talk on these videos. Uh, so let's try with the headphones for now. I have taken a look at the divisions and I have rearranged this into a Baltic battle fleet consisting of 15 ships uh, organized like this. No particular reason why I organize it exactly like this, but uh, this would be my second rate combat ships going forward. This I will reserve for the my first batch of dreadnoughts. I also readied a battle cruiser division. I disbanded our legacy cruiser division and uh, legacy light cruiser division so those formations are gone and the ships have been scrapped i've renamed these to colonial cruiser reserve <coughs> and i have uh, partially reorganized uh, the destroyers as well but we will be introducing more and heavier destroyers with more capabilities uh, soon so uh, I don't think I should spend too much time doing that now. We can do that uh, in a little while. The blessings of using glasses, somehow they get dirty. Even I swear I never touch them, they still get dirty. So I think this is a good, uh, good basis for going forward. Our research, I think <coughs> we already did reorganize. So. I want better guns, I want 14 inch guns, and I want improved guns of lower calibers, that's uh, that's on my wish list. Other than that, I have steam turbines, and we have oil, and we have Venezuela. I have never really gotten oil with any country this early, or well, maybe with the US back in the day when I was trying that for the first time because they start with oil and they are good at research. Uh, armor is, uh, so you can see it, level 10. We have prioritized it highly, but not in the start. It's only relatively late that I tuned it up to high. Now it's back to low because I have everything I need for the time being. Um, I think maybe we just got lucky there uh, the only thing that we kind of want i guess is reduction gear but that is uh, way down the line nothing to think about armor is decent ish uh we haven't prioritized it after crap armor so but with our advantage we should uh, maybe pull ahead Testing tank for whole form, that's good because it reduces the horsepower requirements to go a certain speed, so that will certainly speed our things up. So I think that combined with uh, oil-fired turbines, that should <coughs> bring us back up in speed. Uh, if you remember from the end of the Third French War, uh, the French cruisers were generally faster than us. Yeah, fire control, we have uh, uh, central firing, and the next big thing there is um, is the director, but I don't know, that's uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years from now, we're playing on 80% and there is randomness, so that, so that could happen in the relatively distant uh, future, so not much to sort of uh, aim for there that's why i have set it at low for the time being six seven so we are decently on track 
subdivision and damage control yeah that needs to improve the torpedo protection one is great uh, but it's not going to be great forever so we need to continue we need uh, level two uh, and uh, yeah level two is if i recall not so far into the future um, but sometimes uh, in damage control it skips forward and jumps back so we're not guaranteed to get that immediately uh, we will also eventually uh, unlock a new damage control doctrine that we could consider checking but again i i don't feel the fleet is go, growing big i don't think we should spend thousands on special training i think we will have just make do with that uh, turrets yeah there is a lot of uh, stuff coming in turrets but uh, it can come when it uh, comes um we have uh, yeah like stuff like triple turrets and incre increased elevation that, that sort of thing but uh, we don't need it immediately we are also relatively advanced at level eight ship design we are lagging behind we need to uh, get our act together uh, there all the center line turrets and superimposed and all or nothing armor there is secondary turrets on battleships so much stuff going on in that category ap i'm an ap guy not really keen on firing a lot of high explosive heavy caliber shells even though I have until now sort of won by torpedo or destroying the superstructure, uh, I think the time now has come for big guns, uh, armor piercing, and we are transitioning over to plunging fire. Light forces continue to be a priority. We want double, triple, quadruple. We want. Um, reloads i love reloads for torpedoes and maybe oxygen fuel torpedoes for our destroyers and hand in hand with that we need better torpedoes because speed range yeah subs and anti-sub for now is low we will pick that up a little bit later explosive shells we are lagging behind but uh, yeah it's good enough for now fleet tactics also good enough for now guns we need guns i want good seven inch guns and i would like some more quality one small guns but most importantly we are aiming for that 14 inch gun because 12 inch uh, main battery is fine these are not bad ships look i for the first time uh, i actually generated a little picture in world of waves uh, it's pretty cute but anyway this is not a bad ship but it is extremely slow uh, so it will feel dated pretty soon i think 28 21 knots for a battleship that's okay for quite a few years 19 is it's really not uh so we have to transition over to something a little bit faster there and also 12 inch guns those are good for everything except fighting the big battleships that are going to be built from now and going forward. 14 inches, I feel that's the smallest caliber that you can sort of bring to the fight and not have to worry about it being ineffective. Yes, we want 15, 16, 17, but we can comfortably have a the reserve division or a second line fleet that have mostly 14 inch guns or we could mix them with the 16 inch guns they have decent range good damage decent penetration they will make short work of anything but the most heavily armored more modern battleships and if we have for example 10 or 12 14 inch on our battleship that's going to ruin the day we might not pen the 
citadel below the waterline where we could complete or penetrate uh, main turrets but we could completely wreck everything else so our economy is surprisingly good for a post-war economy so we are not really going into the red we have uh, a lot of repairs going here so i think once those repairs are done and we can start to putting thing into reserve or multiple uh, it will improve even more i could start now but uh, i think i'll just wait until they have repaired one more turn so um let's hit the turn button and like I said, I scrapped a few ships. So if you look here, sunk ships scrapped. Yeah, these I scrapped a long time ago and sold one to Spain, maybe, or was it Austria, Hungary? Uh, these four I uh, scrapped just now. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Those I scrapped now. And I also scrapped the Frauen lobs because they were getting slow and long in the tooth. I mean, they were not horrible ships, but I feel this is a sort of a difficult time. Do you really want to take care of your very oldest starting ships that you didn't even design yourself? Unless you have a specific reason to, I think it is actually better to scrap them. They don't cost a lot, but you really have to free up funds for a conversion to a more modern fleet type with battleships and our prior next priority battle cruisers this uh Kaiser class going to be oh, i cannot look at it at the turn uh yeah more fire control fine better coastal submarines I'm not a huge fan of the coastals. I know some people like to spam them, but a handful of coastal submarines, but the majority as medium range submarines, I think that's that's my thing. Um, the Naval Committee wants to have a look at our design. Yeah, it's uh, it's fine. We're not in a rush, so. And now suddenly we are in in the green. And now I have to decide what kind of tips to put into serve and what to mothball. So all of these uh, 300 tonners, they are definitely being mothballed. And I think we will put the rest of them into reserve. Oh, not this again. I always forget I should really rename these two or I can just get rid of them and modernize them not so long ago. You know what they are annoying me these two are, have become obsolete so rebuild or is it obsolescent obsolete or obsolescent i'm not sure what the o mean not all these two Active now, that's not needed. Not all. Oh, wait, we lack on edition foreign station fixed. So the Valkyries are pretty old. These were my first design. 
So these can go into mothball. The Herias are our best ships. These can go into reserve. I think these can go somewhere. This can be mothballed. These need to repair, so I cannot mothball them yet. Have I not bold too much maybe now? Yeah, of course I have. There. And now we have a very healthy surplus that will only increase. Dock size. The Austrians want to buy fire control. Yeah, sure. They are our little friends. And I just realized that we have created a big sort of axis here, only without Italy, but uh, with Austria-Hungary. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but... Find the fun. There we go. Uh, two more ships repairing. Well, that division, this division is reserve. For any use keeping these. Uh, no, I need to refit them anyway, so. Reserve. Yeah, everyone has to update so multiple multiple No one is active, foreign station, and repairing. Okay, get that sorted out. Um, Iser, Svartsvald. Russia and Italy have signed an alliance. Okay, yeah, if they want to fight. I still have this idea that I want to fight Russia and gain control of the Baltic. Pfizer has made something. Um, definitely Russia. Everything is Russia's fault. Better torpedoes. The French have granted independence. Oh, poor France. 
Britain has improved armor, new time type of crop armor. Uh, the Reichstag wants to look at the battle cruiser design. Ah, uh, sure. Sure, sure. Never going to be finished. Okay, we can look at uh, maybe refitting a few ships. We can look at this uh, these Haria trees. They are fairly modern. Just do central firing. How did they end up with 120 shots? I usually do 130. Yeah, central firing. Change that turret layout to sort of uh, symbolize that we are in the dreadnought era, kind of. That's cheap and cheerful. I'm just gonna look at what this cost. Now it is 1200. Replace machi machinery is 8000. But spread out over 10 months. Oil turbine, yeah, that frees up a lot of. Uh, the drawback is zero TPS. And no, I'm not going to bulge it. it. Was 22, so if I do this, it cannot go faster than 25 knots. I could actually have a reliable engine. But now you see. Engines are, wow, oh, they are expensive. We have our torpedoes, we have our guns, we could even increase the ammo count, because we are already spending 12. Oh, no, because I cannot uh, upgrade to more powerful guns. Yeah, you can see the issue here. And we cannot upgrade this yet because we don't have a better. It's certainly interesting. But it would take a full year to convert them. Uh, it would cost us a lot of money. And even then, 25 knots is not going to remain modern or competitive for very long. So I am not 100% sure that's the right route to go down. We do this here as well. This one I could get to 24. We get better guns. Yeah, they are quite a bit better than quality zero guns. I mean, they are better. Six inch quality zero is better, I would say, than seven minus one. I'm gonna postpone my decision until. I have some designs ready. Even more funding. Wow. So that's finished. Captain Schwanke has shot Captain Petzel. I read that said pretzel first. And blah, 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 rivalry of a woman. Yeah. I mean, it's nothing special, just kick him out. Kaiser. Rework this design. We can now build. Okay, the log. Okay, we are com come to the point where a dock size increase can give you 2000 instead of 1000. So. Oil turbine normal. 
almost do that. It's quite expensive in terms of tonnage. Is that really what I want? My belt taken off. We are at minus one. Do 180 rounds on the three inch line. Yeah, let's rework the Kaiser. Schwarzwald is coming up. Improved hoists, better rate of fire. Now we are getting a lot of text. Let's look at the almanac. Yeah, it's still average. Okay. I'm not sure what the others have researched that we haven't. Maybe they have spread out more. I have sort of tried to get hold of the technologies I know that I need. Yeah, Schwarzwald is ready in one turn. Japan and US have signed uh, an alliance. Okay. Build another Koenig. No, we don't want to have any more Koenigs. Colonial crack. <laughs> oh my god. Are you all relations? Okay, so they are not in any alliances. So if it leads to war, we are prepared to fight it. Superimposed X turret, yeah, that's nice, but I want the B right? armor piercing close to mastering destroyer screen. They are not going to war with us. If they are going to war with us, we are going to trash them completely one more time. So Schwarzwald is ready. We can see that we have some. Possible improvements. No. 27 and reliable. That's too much for the poor ship. That gives us a little bit more to work with. One month. Uh, Southern Korea, Japan. Oh, Japan is our friend. We don't want to mess with them. Yeah, that's good for them. Draw your information. Go to the build screen. Okay. That's our first. Of course, you meddling sons of persons. Build ship. Commission three more. That takes us down quite a bit, but soon these uh, dreadnoughts uh, will be done. Yeah, still uh, average despite uh, having multiple breakthroughs. But these are backward, behind, behind. Backward is very bad. Behind, I think, is less bad. And you have average. You have advanced. Somehow doubt that 
We have oil firing, but no oil. Armor is less. Double bottom. I don't really think they are more advanced than this, but who cares? Let's look at dock size. Great Britain is 29, so we 30, 28, so we have to keep building. Nothing to be gained here. Could uh, design a 900 ton sub. I would rather have double torpedoes for that one. Let's wait. We can build some destroyers once we get uh, uh, some of these battleships completed. Weight saving some machinery. Crap cement it. Yeah, that would have been both of those would have been very nice to have on the short valve. We can stick it into yet another Kaiser design study. Even more fire control. We are now behind. Yeah. Uh, and Austria Hungary is average. Okay, yeah. New rule, this one absolutely cannot be rusted. We have 10, 12 inch, yeah, that's uh, comparable to, to us. You can see they have uh, built it with three centerline turrets, uh, so that's definitely something that we will look into. Because this isn't optimal, so we would actually just. I think I have three centerline turrets, or did I? Yeah, because we have superimposed turrets, so I'm not really sure why I'm building these uh, old school. So we could have aft superimposed, you know, double turrets. Or we could um, Okay, that's way too much. So we save quite a bit of tonnage. We could do reliable. We actually go down quite a bit. We go for five inch guns. Quality minus one. Surely someone has better five inch guns. Yes, of course we have. We have researched high guns all game, 20 years. I don't think we have gotten a whole lot in return for that. So this happens, it happened in my previous game as well. I kept researching guns, but I never had good guns. Very strange. Twenty-two. 23. Huh. Interesting. Suddenly we can have fast battleships. Or I think it turns into a battle cruiser if I go any higher. Yeah. 23 knots. <coughs> hmm. 
That's actually interesting. I'm gonna have a further look at it. Maybe make it look prettier. Okay, I think we have something completely reworked. Um, except I need to move these. Okay, there we go. Not an ugly looking ship, it's a little bit thick, but uh, yeah, it has 12 inch guns. <clears throat> it has one less turret than the Battlecruiser on the first generation. But that just means that it uh, it has the same broadside. So it has the same firepower, but it saves knowledge. Uh, You're keeping those you know, 3 inch guns, you have 6 inch guns. Have plenty of ammo. <clears throat> we have EPS, we have decent engines, oil turbine, of course, almost missed that one. <clears throat> we have torpedoes. It's gonna take another four months, so <laughs> I no regret not redoing this design but it's cool to have something a little bit odd as well a pan yeah let's extend it eight 12 inch Let me make a study. Yeah, for a moment there, I was gonna consider scrapping the entire Swatchwald class, but it's not that much worse. Could have been <coughs> switching to a third cent line turret would save well over a thousand ton because the turret is over a thousand and, and some armor. So we could have more armor or just generally a smaller faster but let's let's leave it at that it's the first generation productivity boost we got two in a row wow deutschland is commissioned Koenig is commissioned We're due to hold a speed at the navy league Freedom of the seas is threatened by Russia. Damage control training. Rotating propellers. <clears throat> yeah. Here. Now we can do. So this costs. Before going to war, this costs uh, an extra 20%. I don't know. I like night fighting. Initially, it's really good because you get uh, a bigger spotting distance uh, than your enemy. So you can uh, get that going. But I also like torpedo warfare. Once you get better torpedoes and destroyers and double triple mounts, can be really good. I'm not going to spend money on any of this. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Okay, yeah. König Deutschland. That's cool. And now we have some. Uh, Money. But soon this Kaiser uh, will be ready. Blücher, why are you not mod bold?
triple turrets. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. But I think at this stage, triple turrets have some sort of penalty that you take off with the later tech. Uh, Yeah, because some of the nations have um, have a special bonus tech. Yeah. Just wait. One more turn. But now we need to spend money. No. No Schwarzwald. US is hosting. Go for the win. Prestige Tensen. And not antagonizing. And now we can have four center line turrets, but we cannot have a super imposing A turret yet. Already I forgot what that other tech was. Yeah, triple turrets, but we are not going to do that. And the Kaiser, we could do four centerline turrets. Ah, do we want to redo it again? Wing, starboard wing. Save so much knowledge. <clears throat> but then, of course, it's not the same class anymore, so then it would take another four months to design it. You know what? I think it's going to be fine. Because now we have time to get even more tech updates. And this is much faster than our first battleships. Our original battleships are so slow, I'm almost ashamed of them. Number chips working up. Reduce naval spending. No, no, no. Definitely not. Good, good. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break there. Yeah, back. So let's uh, try to multiple some more ships now. Multiple reserve, multiple, multiple. <clears throat> Maybe I'm over the cap again. No, we're fine. New hawkish government budget uh, tension. A little bit of tension would be good. Miksha rust block. What? I don't think I ever heard of that one before. Is 
this something new introduced in the machinery development i uh i think this is new this has to be introduced in this beta i think i must take a screenshot of this and ask on the discord but because i cannot ever I think that has to be new. Oops, caps lock, yeah. Is this new? Paste, okay. Uh, but that's good to know. Oops. Almanac, okay. So we have four admittedly very slow battleships. I think I built them too slow, those first battleships, but okay, fine. We have to start somewhere. They can be with their other reserve. But we have this building, <clears throat> and this I think is a good start. And we will be <coughs> definitely competitive, both on uh, uh, battleships and battle cruisers. And we are not overburdened by old uh three dreadnought battleship you only have 15 i think and they are fairly good for what they are these cruisers they will be i have in the past often rebuilt my uh, my big uh, uh cruisers but i often find that as soon as they are rebuilt they are completely outclassed and uh, this is wasted. Yeah. But let's see how a new light cruiser looks. Yes. Okay. So this is the issue with if I try to rebuild this, these are twenty one, twenty two nuts so they could go 24 25 and, and and that's fine but if you look at this i could have a 28 knot ship but probably not with the same specifications with the same good defense that have served me so well thus far if we look at the light cruiser design Keep the 763 set up and switch to oil and switch to normal. Yeah, so e without compromising anything in terms of armament, if we go speed. twenty eight. firing you could build this probably has probably could have better turret armor This 29 knots, that's not doable without compromise, but I think 28 knots would be fine. Belt belt extended, the deck isn't splinter proof, but you can see it's impossible to armor it well enough. Conning tower, I suppose, could be better. Yeah, so there is definitely some options here. 27 is also fine and it costs 40 it takes 22 this with new machinery 
can get it up to 25. So we upgrade the guns as well. We have some tonnage left. I mean, you might as well keep it reliable. I think this was what I was aiming for. So this is 28,000, a brand new cruiser that's two knots faster and has uh, a lot more stuff built into it. And we could even keep it at 27 knots and give it TPS 1. So that's the problem with updating these. And like these, I could, this I cannot get for more up to more than 24. This is horrendously slow. These I can get to 25. Be normal. Actually, that's not a horrible rebuild. That would actually work pretty well for a few years as a second line cruiser. Not gonna stand up to a Big battle cruiser, 27 knot battle cruiser, but this one could uh, keep up with some of the AI designs. So that's definitely an option. No one has uh, two seven inch guns. No. <clears throat> kind of sad. Um, So let's uh, see what we can do with the Kaiser. No, so four center line turrets, right? So if we open the Kaiser and we delete the wing turrets and just uh, double or right in the middle i would obviously have to do something about the graphics so all things equal we save 1800 tons because of the turret and because of the armor and the arc is not awesome but it's uh no worse than having those wing turrets i think yeah. Let's look at the wing turrets arc, wing turret arcs. Okay, so the wing turret arcs are slightly better. Yeah. Hmm. So not such a huge gain anyway. No. Oh, okay. Let's um. Uh, Look at the destroyers. This 600 ton destroyer is uh, not very interesting. 18, can we push it up? No. 31, it's not worth it. Let's just build more of these. Build 18. To keep this down so they don't decide to take away my money all of a sudden. 
more industrial production. 10,000 ton armored cruiser. That's very slow. Good armor, but uh, not impressed. Light cruiser armor configuration. Light cruiser armor configuration is, um, yeah, uh, it's supposed to be better. It offers better protection than protected cruiser. On the other hand, it's much, much heavier. So you are paying for that uh, extra protection with a lot of tonnage. So at least for the time being, I think I'll continue running my light cruisers as protected cruisers. And then we can switch over to light cruiser armor later. And that would, which would be mostly for role playing purposes. Huh? And now I'm starting to regret not having built a cross deck firing ship because we are Germans, we should have cross deck fire, but that's too late now. US have invented scouting force, okay. Um, are we still behind? Hmm. Okay, I, uh, I don't know what to say. We are ahead of the US in money, and we are very, very close to the Great Britain. So this is actually looking pretty good. Let's just push forward. We have stolen 11, improved 11 inch gun from the French. Um, okay, that is kind of interesting. Okay, it's official. It's a holiday for everyone in Germany. We have 14 inch quality zero guns. This is huge. I think I'm gonna call it uh, this episode and then there were 14 or something because this is uh, this is huge. Now we can build our battleships for the Future, we have four center lines, we have 14 inch guns. Yeah, now we can really start designing for the future. We cannot immediately build a lot of ships. Let's get uh, the stuff we're building going. Maybe even upgrade a few ships. Uh, partly because it's fun, but also because it can be useful. Um, the Brits have been spying on us. Huh? That's why they are very advanced, because they are stealing. Uh, yeah, we can send them a diplomatic note. That's fine. We are not so weak anymore that we cannot fight a little bit with, the U with Great Britain. I would rather not, but we can if we have to. Hmm. I, I want that double uh, torpedo for my 900 ton torpedo destroyers. That would uh, make a huge difference. First of all, it's much easier to hit. And secondly, you can do a lot more damage if you get two strikes, uh, of course. Hmm. 14 inch guns. Wow. Let's wait until this is uh, done. More fire control, more rate of fire, better torpedoes, fleet tactics. And now suddenly we go from behind to very advanced. So there's very little uh, room here. Okay, so Britain has finished building their first battle cruisers. Let's have a look at them. They are 
speed 26 have 12 inch guns these first ones are uh, not really that interesting this one is more interesting it has 8 12 inch and 14 6 this goes 16 4 that's just weird probably one more this one is smaller 8 12 inch Anemic secondary battery, four inch guns. Wow. Okay. We have some ships here. We might consider updating, but I think instead of looking at every ship design, I need to sort of do this off screen and then we can look at them together. <laughs> 